Tucker up, buttercup coming up. I'm gonna show you how to make our extra tangy lemon squares. Even though the flavor profile on these delectable squares is pretty tangy, the process of making them is super sweet. Let me show you how to make them. Let me put up a photograph of the ingredients you're gonna need, nothing too complicated. Main ingredient is lemons. And with most fruit, vegetables, especially citrus fruit, we're gonna give our lemons a wash before we get them ready for the recipe. First thing we're gonna do is use a microplane, run a couple of lemons back and forth on your microplane. You're gonna need two teaspoons of lemon zest for the recipe. Cut those zested lemons and a few more in half, and then we're gonna juice them. The juice quantity for this recipe, two thirds of a cup. So far, so good. Next thing, let's preheat our oven to 350 degrees and let's prepare our pan. I'm using an eight by eight inch square. We're gonna rip off strips of foil about eight inches wide, and then notice I'm doing a crisscross of the foil into the baking pan, lay it on top and then press it down nice and tight into the bottom of the pan. We did try the recipe with parchment paper. Foil works a lot easier. You'll see now when I make the crust, the crust sticks to the foil way better. Let's make that crust now. I have a medium sized bowl into which I'm placing one cup unbleached all purpose flour. Add a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Let's do half a teaspoon of kosher salt. You're gonna stir those ingredients together and then I melted off eight tablespoons of butter. We're gonna pour the butter in, stir it, and before you know it, the base for our lemon squares come together. We can then transfer it into our prepared pan and just take a spoon and smooth it out all the way, even layer in the bottom of the pan. Now we can transfer that pan to the oven, let the base bake for 20 minutes. While the base is baking, we're gonna continue and make the filling for our squares. Remember that bowl we just used? No need to wash it. Simply place it onto your work surface and we're gonna continue with the filling. I'm gonna add one cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons unbleached all-purpose flour, two teaspoons cream of tartar, half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Whisk those ingredients together now we're adding three large eggs plus three egg yolks. Yolks and eggs are at room temperature. Whisk those ingredients together and just make sure that the eggs are perfectly combined with the dry ingredients. Let's pucker this recipe up. Time to add our lemon. I'm gonna sprinkle in the lemon zest and then add the lemon juice. Whisk everything together, have a spatula handy. We're gonna transfer our filling into a medium sized saucepan. And now we're heading to stovetop to cook the filling. Notice the temperature we're cooking the filling at. It is medium low. You don't wanna do this quickly. You're gonna stand at stovetop and slowly stir this mixture, probably about six to eight minutes. It'll thicken up. But if you use a spatula, just keep making sure you're pulling that thickening liquid away from the bottom of the pan so it doesn't burn. Once it's nice and thick, it'll coat the back of the spoon or the spatula. Bring your pan over to work surface. We're gonna add four more tablespoons of butter. I kind of hacked it up into little bits. We're gonna stir the butter in until it completely melts. Now I'm taking a small bowl, placing a sieve on top of it, and we're gonna run the filling through the sieve. This will make sure the filling for our lemon squares is beautifully smooth. Just kind of move it around with a spatula. You can run a spoon on the underside of your sieve to remove all of that filling. Interesting how this recipe works, because right about now, the base for your lemon squares is done. Bring that hot pan carefully to your work surface, pour the filling on top of the base, and you can move your pan around a little bit just to make sure that filling evens out. We're gonna transfer it back to the oven and let it bake for 10 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, you have to wait for an hour and a half. It needs to cool completely in the pan. We're gonna grab the overhang of tin foil and lift the large square out, place it out onto your work surface, peel down the edges, and now you're ready to cut your squares. Using a sharp knife, we're gonna cut the four uh, sides. You just want a nice clean cut going through. And a suggestion, have a damp cloth nearby. You wanna wipe your knife after every cut. Now you have to make a decision. Are you gonna serve nine larger size squares? Are you gonna do 16 smaller squares, which is what I did? Up to you, just slowly 
go through making sure you cut all the way down into the bottom uh, part of the crust of your squares and you're good to go. Once your squares are cut, you can gently lift them, place them onto a big service piece or onto individual plates. And then we're taking a small little sieve and some icing sugar and we're just going to dust the top. What a beautiful finish to these extra tangy lemon squares. My mouth is watering. You're going to find out how wonderful they are when you try them. Remember those bits that I cut off? I get to try a little bit of this now. That's kind of like your reward when you make the recipe. You get to try them in advance. Mmm. Mm, the base is so... Mmm. Mmm. These are mighty tangy, mighty delicious. Enjoy them, and then come on back and hang out again soon. Until next time, take care. Mmm. Good one. You're good.